What's up guys and welcome to the Olsen Angle. Today we're going to be talking about an inside linebacker recruit out of California who actually happens to be the number one inside linebacker recruit out of the entire class of 2020, Justin Flo. Justin is 6'2", 225 pounds, and he really impresses on film. This video took me a lot longer than most videos do just because when I first watched this film, and even the second time I watched this film, I had so many different takeaway points where I was extremely impressed with, and I really didn't see too many flaws in this game. So I had to go ahead and relax, recenter myself, and see if there was anything I was missing. But I, I really, I just couldn't find anything that I didn't like about the kid. And there's no doubt about it, Justin is the hardest hitter in the class of 2020. You see that the way the ball carriers enter the hole wherever Justin is, they're so tentative because he's been pulverizing them all night with physical play. These offensive linemen have no chance at all to block him when he times that snap perfectly because he's got great acceleration and power when he's able to hit that gap that he's blitzing. The offensive linemen just aren't able to move their feet quick enough and get hands on him to where Justin gets in the backfield and causes havoc. And if by rare chance, an offensive lineman's able to get himself in a good enough position to possibly make a block there on Justin, only one of two things really happens. A being, he just stops the offensive lineman right in his tracks and is able to make a tackle on the ball carrier. Or B, the offensive lineman just is not able to move his feet quick enough to match Justin, and Justin uses active hands to get off him, to disengage the block, to shed the block, and make the tackle. It really is a shock to see a kid at the high school level have such a high skill motor like that and paired up with that acceleration, the power, and the ability to time the snap like him. You just don't see recruits like that. And on August the 2nd, Justin released the four schools he might commit to this upcoming season. And they were in no particular order, Georgia, Miami, Clemson, and Oregon. And I can promise you, wherever he commits, they're gonna get a kid who is going to be a cornerstone at that Mike linebacker position for three to four years. Cause I can promise you, he's not gonna redshirt and he's gonna get time immediately. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get into the highlights. Oh my gosh. Guys, that was a perfectly timed blitz there. And the offensive lineman stepped underneath himself. I'm gonna hit pause. The offensive lineman stepped underneath himself. And when you're dealing with a guy like Justin who has such great acceleration and power there off the snap of the ball, you really have to be, you know, dotting your I's and crossing your T's. So when you step underneath yourself like that, you're gonna put yourself already at a disadvantage. He used that speed and the acceleration, and then he just delivered that Herculean hit. Let's go ahead and watch that one more time. I know we saw it twice, but I gotta watch it again. I'm sorry. Here it is. Here it is. Wow, look at how hard he hit that running back. Unbelievable. Does a great job of strafing and keeping his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage. And then once that running back cuts off the offensive lineman, Justin readjusts, he goes ahead and tackles that ball carrier and slams him to the ground with aggression and physicality. Hits like that uh, make just running backs play timid. That was a huge hit. Look at how quickly he's able to turn on the Jets and get that pass break up. Yikes. Uh, that pulling guard should have been picking up Justin off the edge, but he just didn't notice or didn't pick him up. But still, he did a good job making a play in the backfield. What a hit. What a hit. He just brings so much punch to the party. That is athleticism at its finest. He doesn't jump the snapper, so it's not illegal. He's able to split that snapper and the guard right between them and go ahead and block that kick, just like he did right there. Again, perfect. That's, that's exactly how you draw it up. Nice effort on that pass rush. You want to talk about the offensive lineman had himself originally in pretty good position, but Justin continues to move his feet and use active hands where he's able to disengage from the offensive tackle and make the sack. That was a great play. Wow. He was able to shoot that gap so quickly, the guard was not able to get himself in sufficient enough position to block him, and he's able to make a great tackle in the backfield. Oh, 
holy crap. I understand that's a half back screen and he's blitzing that B gap, but he timed that snap absolutely perfectly where the guard and the tackle weren't able even to get a hand on him. So he's able to walk into the backfield unimpeded, use that great acceleration and pursuit and cause that pick six. There it is again. Look at the pursuit of that fullback who's coming out there for a pass. He's able to just catch up, close the gap and prevent him really from gaining any yards. What a vicious hit, oh my gosh. He is a hard hitter, my God almighty. Times a snap perfectly right through the A gap. The fullback's not even able to put a hand on him. He's moving that quick and he tackles the running back in the backfield. Holy crap, he passed through almost two layers. The offensive line, the fullback, and then he gets to the running back. Unbelievable. He stopped that running back right in the hole. Look how fluid he looked right there. The guard had his head down, so he just makes a natural swim move right over the top of him to make the tackle in the backfield. That's beautiful. He's aware. Not only does he make the sack, but he also strips the ball out. That's just being aware. Times that play perfectly and is able to hit the center with enough power and acceleration where he's able to disengage and make that sack. You gotta love it. Nice play. The offense had absolutely no chance on that particular play just because the defense was sending six guys. There were only five guys blocking. So again, the favor was in the defense, but still Justin did a good job of accelerating and making that tackle in the backfield. We're gonna have to rewind that. Look at this. I know the offensive lineman does not have a solid base when he hits Justin, but look at this. He stands the guy up and knocks him backwards and then makes a tackle on the running back. That is a pitcher perfect play for a middle linebacker. That is exactly what you ask him to do in that scenario. Times the play perfectly, uses the acceleration to get in the backfield, and then he strips that ball. He's very aware too when he plays. Stops that running back right in his tracks and goes ahead and causes a tackle for a loss. Another great play, very physical. Look at the pursuit. Look at the pursuit on that particular play. I know it was the last highlight, but did you see how quickly he was able to cover that ground? You just do not see Mike linebackers in most cases that are athletic and quick enough and have that type of acceleration to make a play in that scenario. Guys, we saw it. Justin brings a lot to the table. The only thing I'm a little bit curious about, just because we didn't see it too much in the highlights, is how he does in pass coverage. We know that he does a great job of running in a straight line and breaking up pass plays if a running back's out there in the flats. He does that all throughout the highlights and he does a superb job of it. The only thing I'm curious about is how he does on other type of situations there in man as well as zone coverage. We didn't get to see it very much, but I could tell you one thing, he does about everything else well. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate the fact that you took the time out of your day to watch and learn a little bit about Justin Flo. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe and like us there on Facebook and Twitter at the Olsen angle.